Library Out Loud updates you all about the fun and interesting things going on in the Spokane County Library District. Sponsored by STCU and the Spokane County Library District. Hello and welcome to Library Out Loud. I'm Jane Baker with the Spokane County Library District and um, joining me today is Gwendolyn Haley also with the district and um, Hi. Welcome everyone. <laughs> this is kind Hi, of a sneak up following uh, oh. the orders of stay at home. So we're at home today uh, doing this podcast, but I think it was very important to do. Um, the, the Spokane County Library District has got some great stuff going on to help mm -hmm. um, parents, adults, children, everyone who's uh, trying to maintain some sort of, um, well, I don't know what we're maintaining, but we're doing it from home. and. Um, <laughs> We got some great things to talk about today, so um, yeah. bear with us on, on this. And how are you doing, Gwendolyn? I'm doing all right. It's been it's been a bit of a challenge, as it has been for everyone. You know, we've got five people in our house, so my husband and I are both uh, telecommuting. Um, and normally, we aren't both trying to inhabit the same telecommuting space at the same time. And then my mm -hmm. oldest daughter is home from college, and she's online doing online classes i have a high school student and she's doing high school her high school classes and then i have an elementary schooler and so we're also doing all of her stuff online so our wi-fi is um getting a <laughs> getting to work out and everyone's kind of and normally i would be like no we don't all need to be on screens but i'm not kidding every day we're all just on yeah. screen um yeah, it was cute. Susanna had set up her own schedule for school from our youngest daughter from 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. And I said, you, oh. you do know that school would normally only be six hours anyway. And she stuck to that schedule for a couple days. But now she kind of works through the stuff she has to do. And it's like, I'd like to be done now. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I have to admit You're there's dead. been a few days in which I'd, I've said about noon, I'd like to be done now. but. <laughs> It's okay. Um, we're going to get through this, and uh, the library mm -hmm. district has lots of um, great ways to to help you out. So we have a lot to cover, and and let's see what we can get covered today. Um, first of all, the libraries are closed. Uh, yes, we are closed uh, until oh through April twenty fourth, uh, unless yeah. something is extended. But at this point in time, April twenty fourth, if you have books due, um, all hold the on to them. <laughs> extended right <laughs> read them again right. <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> the due dates are extended until may 2nd um mm -hmm. if you really feel you must go out get out of the house maybe walk take a neighborhood walk or, or drive our book drops are open so if you're you're done you can return the book if you'd really like to so mm -hmm. um those are some of the logistics of of what's going on um yeah. but Behind the scenes, we have lots of other things going on. We have um, yes. a lot of online resources. Gwendolyn, your team has been working on a lot of stuff. Let's let's talk a little bit about um, what you're working on. Sure. Well, we we're pivoting. Uh, one of the things that libraries uh, try to do is is adapt and adjust to uh, as things change around us. We've been doing it for hundreds of years as libraries, and so a lot of our staff are are working on uh, taking some of the things we do and putting them online and f figuring out one of the things we all miss is, is well, everybody else, <laughs> really. And so yeah. Um, yeah. we're gonna be hosting our very first virtual um, online book club. And we're really excited about that. And um, that's gonna be next week and people can sign up on Evanced and we'll email you the Zoom invite to do a, a mm -hmm. virtual book discussion of, um, there's of an overdrive book, it's available, um, unlimited copies. So everybody who wants to read it can check it out right now. It's called mm -hmm. Funny, You Don't Look Autistic and it's a memoir mm -hmm. of a comedian. And uh, it, it it's a great read and it'll be fun to, to read something together and talk about it. Um, we also um, launched a spring reading challenge um, and that just went live on using Beanstack, which is an online system to help people track the number of minutes they're reading 
and mm -hmm. earn badges, virtual badges for that. And then we added activities, uh, all kinds of things. And we've got activities for um, kind of early learning, which is really for ages like zero, um, you know, preschool to eight years old, kind of up to third grade. And then for the kids that are eight and up, we have a set of badges and activities that are easy to do, um, fun things, um, educational things, um, creative things that you can do from home uh, with uh, whatever you have on hand. Um, just to make it easier. And then we even included things for adults because we didn't want anyone to feel left out. And there's right. there's a lot of great <laughs> activities you could be doing from home. And it's amazing to see how many people have launched um, really fabulous content um, for us to, to engage with each other uh, over the distance. And so um, it's a great way to also find some of those kinds of things to explore, um, you mm -hmm. know, virtual tours of museums, of, of zoos, and so on and so forth. And um, that runs really through the end of May. We're sure hoping <laughs> to see everybody in real life again. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But well, let's, it's, let's it's simple to do. Let's backtrack a little bit. Um, the Spring Reading mm -hmm. Challenge, if um, you've participated in our Summer Reading Challenges mm -hmm. in the past, this is the same format. Um, right. And, and web uh, internet link to go to. So if you are you want to know where to go, go to sblv.org and information <laughs> about that is there. And um, to step back two steps, you had mentioned yeah. Overdrive, a book on mm -hmm. Overdrive. Overdrive is our ebook platform. And if you go on there, um, you can see the book and, and figure out how to check it out. And it is an ebook, so it is available right. every day. Yeah, it's available as an ebook and an audiobook. So you, you have mm -hmm. an unlimited checkout. So even if there's no waiting, you can get it right now. Right. Um, so that's exciting. And, and if anybody is listening and says, um, I don't have a library card, um, that's okay. Uh, yeah. You can now go on our website and apply for a library card and get instant access. So we do have virtual yes. cards now. Um, mm -hmm. Very exciting. So you don't have to sit on the sidelines and say, shoot, should have gotten that library card because you can get it now instantly online. Um, so right. you can yeah, yeah. So yeah, those right. are some great things um, mm -hmm. that, are, that are coming up. Uh, what else do you have that you want to talk oh. about that's super exciting? I mean, the, the virtual book club is great and all the online resources, but um, mm -hmm. anything else you can mention right off? But yeah, I wanted to mention that um, some of our colleagues have been, uh, we've been able to partner with KSPS and we're yeah. going to be offering um, virtual story times um, with them. And that's really exciting because that's one of the things we miss. And I'm, I'm sure we've got families whose kiddos miss that as well. And yeah. uh, we're excited to partner with KSPS. So you'll be able to see it on a couple different platforms. Mm -hmm. And um, some of your favorite story time librarians from the County Library District um, sharing stories um, with folks. And I think KSPS is um, providing those on the first and last Friday of the month um, mm -hmm. from 10 to 10.30 a.m. And that's so really exciting. KSPS.org under their education uh -huh. tab. Yeah, just, just trying yeah. to provide navigation there. Yeah, so and it's also on our website too. So, yeah. Yep. Great. Um, so, we're trying to help connect people to all these resources. There, there's so mm -hmm. much online stuff. So, um, you know, we have our own as well. And I mentioned uh, uh, Overdrive is our, mm -hmm. our ebook platform. We also have audiobooks there. And mm -hmm. um, in fact, let's talk a little bit about some of the resources that we have right there at the library. And um, those are the Overdrive ebooks and audiobooks. We also have a program called Hoopla. Yeah. And Hoopla has streaming music. And when I'm talking mm -hmm. music, not just your top hits, their entire albums are on yeah. um, Hoopla. Uh, there's movies, there's television mm -hmm. shows, and all that is streaming for free from Hoopla. And all you need yeah. is that live. Yeah, that's right. And the great thing about Hoopla, too, is you can stream it on any device. And mm -hmm. I just... Um, if you have like a Roku or something like that, you can even um, set up Hoopla on your TV at home and stream things from the library directly to your smart TV. And that's pretty cool. I was able to help my parents get that set up. So they were nice. they were thrilled because um, yep. they're big fans of a lot of the British mystery series. And there's a ton of those available on Hoopla, for example, oh, if right. this is of interest to anyone. <laughs> 
That's great. So there's that. And then we also have Flipster, which are magazines. So if you're missing yes. People Magazine or Time Magazine, Newsweek, mm -hmm. uh, you can um, get those downloaded as well. And magazines mm -hmm. look beautiful on, um, on the screen. You know, they um, do. It, it, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, something it, really it looks great. About it. Yep. Yeah, so and that's quickly, what, aren't we all looking for new recipes? Lots of cooking magazines, yeah. <laughs> things like that. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. um, lots of that kind of stuff. So we have that. Uh, newspapers are available. I mean, our online resources are 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 so many, so many. They've always been there. They're still there, and we're and we keep. Um, uh, adding to them. In fact, we have doubled the amount of ebooks we are adding to mm -hmm. our collection and we are doing that two times a week. So it's happening right now. So if you went on yesterday and and uh, uh, something that you wanted to check out was was uh, too long of a waiting list or maybe wasn't available, it may be today mm -hmm. because we are uh, functioning really uh, behind the scenes to get as many of these mm -hmm. resources to people as possible. So um, we and yeah. I'm watching the timer and the same thing all at once here. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't my best interview, but we're trying, right? Um, yeah. But so we have lots of online resources, and and all I can say is uh, scld.org. Get on there, click on digital library, click around, find out what we have, <laughs> what we have to offer. There is so much. And of course, um, we are uh, on Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram, uh, all those places mm -hmm. as well. Um, in fact, if you have something, say if you have a kiddo reading a book and you videotape them, uh, put them onto our, our Facebook. We'd love to see it, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And if you're participating in our, our um, spring reading challenge and you complete anything, we'd love to see pictures of that. Hashtag SCLD and uh, it. share it yeah. on those social media platforms. And that mm -hmm. would be great. I Things like building with blocks or Legos or other things you have in your house or creating something new, um, all of that. I will say, Jane, um, one of our colleagues ran a report just to see uh, how our digital resources have been used. And it was really yeah. neat to see. I was surprised. Ancestry.com, which is available for free from the library, um, had a huge boost in the last couple of weeks. So people are taking the time to maybe do some of those projects that they've wanted to mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. do a little um, research into their family history. And uh, mm -hmm. that's a great thing to do right now. Um, and it's available for free through your library and you have access to all of that great content on Ancestry.com. Yeah, um, actually, Ancestry is usually only available in library, but because of uh, the situation right now, uh, you mm -hmm. can access it from home. So, uh, yes, yeah. people are taking advantage of that. Would, would we see like almost a 200% increase in the use of <laughs> it was, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. So that's and then great. Also, um, go ahead. I was going to say, we also have this series of things called Tumblebook, Tumblebook Junior and Audiobook Cloud. And that's another um, platform for streaming um, picture books that are animated and they have the words underneath. So when your kiddo is, is watching the book and having it read to them, they can read along. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Tumblebook Junior has um, chapter books in the same way. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Well, uh, that timer sound means it's time for us to take a quick break. <laughs> We're going to do that and then we'll be back and we'll talk about some more of the resources that are available online for free right now from the Spokane County Library District. We'll be right back after this break. What? You haven't been to the library lately? Stop in today and see that the library is more than books. Spokane County Library District facilities feature on-site technology, including Wi-Fi, computers, and printers as well as free use of meeting rooms. The Library District offers events and programs for all ages, from story times to career development and employer classes to social security workshops. Our staff is well-trained and happy to help. Find out more about your library at scld. I'm Jade Becker and I'm a senior at Chewila High School. I'm at STCU's Money Live event. In this scenario that we played today, I was a realtor. My spouse was a city worker. We had an 11-month-old child and there was a lot of spending for that child, like diapers and formula and 
how to buy toys and clothing. <laughs> I'm very glad that I had this experience. It was super helpful. You need this to get far and ahead in life. I'm Jade Becker and STCU is here for good. And welcome back to Library Out Loud. I'm Jane Baker along with Gwendolyn Haley and we are talking about online resources and mm -hmm. the things that we have uh, during this this time of stay at home from the library <laughs> that we're offering to, to help keep you busy, to help keep the kiddos busy, to keep you entertained, to keep you educated, all those things that we can do as a library. Um, and before we talk about more of the cool stuff that you're working on, Gwendolyn, I do want to mention mm -hmm. that uh, if if you are in need of internet or Wi-Fi, you can go to one of our libraries and be in the parking lot and still pick up the Wi-Fi. So that mm -hmm. is available if, if you're stuck or or if you're, you're in need of something like that, an emergency, it is free. You can just pull into the parking lot close enough to the building and, and you mm -hmm. will be able to pick up Wi-Fi. People do it all the time and um, it is there for that reason. And so if you need that, it's there. Um, yeah. So we talked about the book club virtual book club and more details yeah. about that soon and that's yeah. pretty exciting um but you've also uh, talked about a few other ideas and i hope i hope we're not mentioning these too early nope. but uh, you mentioned uh <laughs> prime time and learning circles can, that's can right so, yeah so with prime time um is normally something we would do in person with families and kiddos and we'd be reading and discussing picture books um, with a humanity scholar and of course we had to cancel uh, a series that we were doing and so we're looking at um, using some platforms like zoom to be able to have the same program for families to participate with other families in a reading and discussion group together um, and all of the books you know, are on a theme. So one night the theme would be uh, justice and the other night the theme would be courage. And then we talk about the ideas in the books and we're excited about that and we're working on that. We're also working on um, how to have other kinds of content discussions um, for folks. Um, we've talked about doing kind of a learning circle online maybe where we watch um, a documentary together and then discuss that. Um, really looking for ways that the library can facilitate what we've always done in person, but to do it virtually, which is that connection with the people in your community to talk about ideas, to, to um, interact and engage with one another and find that human connection and, and really find that common ground um, that we have. Um, gosh, we have a lot to talk about right now, really. Um, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's nice to talk to somebody else. <laughs> I think. Yes. <laughs> My husband and I are like, I'm, we are so together. <laughs> hey. I, yeah. it, it is challenging at times. Um, I, mm -hmm. I think when the weather uh, gets nice again a little bit, you know, and you can get out in the backyard or mm -hmm. something like that, helpful, but uh, mm -hmm. it's been a challenge. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how you do it with kids. You have you have like all different ages in your household so there's quite some challenges there i do and of course you know trying <laughs> to keep them all and support all of them being on track academically is a challenge you know i've got um i get a who's taking calculus and jane i can't tell you the last time i took calculus well i could but we won't discuss how long ago it was but the good news for her is that uh, once again i'm able to point her to the library website and uh, mm -hmm. we've got this great resource um, called brain fuse and they have a, a service called help now um, which is live homework help every day from 2 p.m to 10 p.m so if you're like me and a parent who's been a few years away from having to take certain subjects um, you're not alone there's actual help certified teachers on the other end of the computer who can walk you through uh, whether it's decimals or fractions or the quadratic equation or mm -hmm. um, you know doing calculus functions and um, things like that and I'm so thankful that I've got uh, that resource to point her to because I would have to relearn you know a topic that I have it's been a while. It's been a minute yeah. or two since I've studied yeah. that. And so that's a great resource. And I hope that all of our families in our community are aware of um, that there's free online homework help every day from 2 to 10 p.m. And with a lot of the schools now going from kind of enrichment to required um, schoolwork, I think that'll be a real help for families to be able to say, okay, we're stuck. We need help uh, with mm -hmm. some concept. Um, you can have your papers proofread. 
um, through mm -hmm. live homework help. Um, and again, uh, there's resources available to um, tutorials and study guides and all kinds of things on Brain Fuse every day, um, 24 mm -hmm. hours a day. But from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., there's actually live someone on the other end of the computer who's a certified teacher in that subject who can help you with mm -hmm. it. And I think that's vital for our communities. That, that's a fabulous resource, um, and not only for the kids, but the parents, you know, who are mm -hmm. suddenly yeah. put into the position of, oh, I have to teach you what? Uh, I don't remember yeah. that. So, yeah. yeah. And if you're <laughs> trying to tell a community. A day, they are live there. And mm -hmm. that is a free mm -hmm. resource. Uh, it's always been available, but even more important now. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. So um, that's under digital resources on our website. That's right. You go down mm -hmm. now and you can find it. Um, of course, you know, if you're on our website and you can't find what you're looking for, which that, you know, uh, hopefully it's easier to find than you think, but um, reach out to us, reach out through um, any of the social media platforms or, or email the helpline or whatever, and we can help you. Mm -hmm. uh, find. You yeah, need. we but are answering those. Sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. We are working from home as best that we can to answer questions. Sometimes it might take us a little bit longer to get back to you, but we will do so and, and mm -hmm. help you that way. Um, yeah. Wow. So many things. Uh, we are still moving ahead. You know, I, we don't have programs in person right now, but um, we are working really hard to uh, get that information out there. And it is online mm -hmm. and our website is vital to that. Again, if you don't have a library card and you wish you could take advantage of this stuff, go to our website and um, partway down on that page, the front, the home page, it'll say, get a library card, click on that and follow those instructions. And you can uh -huh. get instant access to a library card so you can take right. advantage of all those things. One thing we haven't mentioned, uh, Gwendolyn, is pronunciator, which is... Oh. Um, Languages. May we? <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> uh, if you're um, going to be at home, you know you could easily mm -hmm. learn a whole new language in in yeah. a month or long. And um, mm -hmm. it, I was on there the other day, thinking I was going to have the time mm -hmm. to do so. Um, and, and there's any language you want to learn, and you can mm -hmm. set it up to to learn it as fast as you want. You could say, you know, let me choose how many phrases a day I wanted to learn and uh, mm -hmm. self-pace myself through that. So Pronunciator is there, uh, Arlinda.com is there, Gale Courses. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've never had time to look through Gale Courses, um, uh, there isn't a subject, I, I'm not sure what subject isn't there. So there's something almost for everyone. Um, yeah. What am I missing? Am I missing something oh. important? I, you know, I, one of the things I'm just going to um, plug one of my absolute favorite resources that we have in our digital um, resources, and that is uh, World Book Encyclopedia. Um, a oh, lot of us grew up with a World Book Encyclopedia in print, and it was a fantastic resource then. But if you have not looked at it online, it's amazing. Um, the resources that are available there, it has everything that we remember and love in terms of articles for the print one, but they have taken this online platform and they've added videos and links to additional content. And if you are um, working on social studies um, topics uh, with your kids at home, or you're just interested for yourself, there's short videos you can watch. Um, there's a lot of content. It's got um, teacher resources too. Um, wow. And again, it's available for free, but I think I think it's one of those things that people go, oh yeah, the encyclopedia, but I really, you've not seen the encyclopedia like this. Um, yes. And there's a couple different version. There's a um, available so you can log in uh, with your library card and you can use it. There's a version for young kids and then the student encyclopedia, which looks more like what we would remember from when we were in school. But so whether your kiddo is in early elementary school or in high school, um, or just you are like, gosh, you know, I, I've always wanted to know more about this topic. Um, check out the World Book Encyclopedia. I, you know, it's a, there's a lot of great content there um, just to learn something new and um, kind of it's a great tips. So one, everyone keeps comparing uh, our situation now to the flu pandemic of the 1918, 1919. And um, I think it's a great opportunity to get some more historical context for some of those things and, and how we've handled that in the past. We just had an earthquake yeah. the other day. And if you really want to understand yeah. how earthquakes work and what's going on, um, again, World Book is a great place to start. Um, and you can learn quite a bit. And usually there's also some additional activities. Um, so if you're looking for some good boredom busters that are educational, 
again, uh, World Book uh, is a great resource for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'd like to tack on a uh, science and context. That's another yes. one of our, um, our our digital resources. And uh, you know, when I first saw the title, I thought, well, that looks really boring. But I clicked into it one day <laughs> and totally was lost in all the great information and the visuals and it, it's pretty interesting uh so don't be turned off by the words science on that one because it was pretty fa fabulous to look at and i don't even have a, a young kid at home i was into it and reading it and interested myself we also have okay. biographies uh, you can learn about people like you said learn about previous pandemics this isn't the first time humanity's had to go through something like this right and, um it's not all that different uh, you know, we, we have better technology these days, of course, but um, a lot of the same things are happening back then that are happening now. So um, there's yeah. a lot, lot there, hopefully to keep you entertained and educated through the stay at home. Yeah. Um, yeah. So right. check it out. I was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Digital uh, library. Digital library. Check out ebooks, music, relax, mm -hmm. learn create uh mm -hmm. we have something for almost we have something for everyone there yeah and you know we still we have other ideas for um kind of shifting to provide more online programming um a chance for people to interact we have ideas um that we're kind of working through around potentially doing virtual escape rooms i mean we've got so many ideas one of my colleagues said my ideas have ideas so <laughs> watch for that and, and we're trying to yes. um um, get those up and running as, as quickly as we can. And it's exciting uh, in a way because we're learning things and how to do things that we've never done before, um, as so many of us are. <laughs> yes. So. yes. And there's been a bit of a learning curve, but we, um, we're doing some great stuff and, and keep checking mm -hmm. back because more and more uh, content is coming online and more things for you and your family. And um, there's great stuff there. So check it out. Oh, yeah. and there is the timer. That means it Great. must be time for us to go. Uh, thank you, Gwendolyn, for hanging in there through this interview. Uh, this is an awkward <laughs> situation, but I think we're getting better at it, as you said. So uh, thanks for joining me. Check out SCLD.line, everybody, uh, SCLD.org online. Everyone, stay well, and we'll see you next time on Library Out Loud. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by the Spokane County Library District and STCU.